It's that simple. Now, Tony, uh, we were talking about um, uh, Antonio Brown. <laughs> Luigi called in. <laughs> if the Raiders yes. wanted to get rid of him, I have somebody that they need to sign right away. They could probably get him really cheap. Who do you have? Did you see this video? Of oh, this? yes, I agree. You want to talk about great hands. You want to talk about, you know, Fred X used to say, my hands have been very good to me. Freddie Mitchell, the people's champion with the big championship mm -hmm. belt that he wore. I mean, We see, have a new guy who the yes. Raiders should sign immediately. I mean, talk about fantastic freaking hands at any speed. <laughs> Not Galamad, by the way. That's different. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's squid. We have the who the Raiders are now looking yes. at. As you know, Mike Mayock, the general manager, likes to break down tape. I mean, he did it better yeah. than anybody. When you when you there was Mel Kiper and then there was Mike Mayock. You look at the baseball dude that got signed because he yeah. made a videotape. This guy needs to be signed immediately. Let's go to the tape. We have the Raiders' new starting wide receiver from Monday Night Football at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum, whatever they call it right now. I guess it's still the uh, Oracle. Let's go to this man who's do, who does what I love to do. Now, just keep watching. Do, you guys don't understand what we're talking about here. You have to watch the entire video, and then we'll, we'll It looks get like reaction. a roller coaster yeah. ride to me. And here they go. They have a GoPro in front. We never do enough GoPro stuff. Keep watching. He's doing the loop, doing the loop. Right there. Oh, what a grab. A cell phone flies out. 80 this miles per hour on the loop. He sees it coming. He reaches out and grabs it. And he grabs it, it with his left hand. Mid air. Grabs it with his left hand, and then he's holding it up with his right hand to take the uh, the accolades of the crowd. Yes. Where is that? That's wanna, one of those single. Okay. That's gonna, one of those two two side by side ride. I'm gonna ones. rewind and I want to see it again. So this is at the top of the. Do we know what what amusement park this was I and what know. ride that was? I want to go on that thing. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Boom. Oh! God, that's now, amazing. Did it, where did it fall out of? Was it, it was, his friends? It was from somebody behind him because he's looking behind him to to acknowledge, hey, I got it. How does something from behind you... Because he was doing the loop. So they were on a loop and somehow or another it fell. So when he, he reached it... Does it say where that amusement park is? I know it could be a Six Flags. It could be anything. I don't think it was in Jersey, but it may have been. There's good I don't coasters know, there. But sign that guy. It was awesome. <laughs> the Raiders are going to pass on that dude. The dude <clears throat> reaches up with his left hand, so he's he's amphibious. So he reaches up with his left hand, grabs it, and then passes it over amphibious. to the right hand. Amphibious. That's an old joke, Robin Hughes. I think uh, is it Great Adventure, Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey? Let me see if I can find it. It actually doesn't say on the article. It that could I be found. one of five hundred amusement parks that all have great coasters like that in this country. It could be Cedar Point. <laughs> could be Six Flags. You know where I know where it isn't? It isn't Magic Mountain in California, because I'd recognize that immediately. You know, because you got the mountains in the background. It looked like it could be Jersey or Cincinnati or one of those other great amusement parks. How are you going to say no catch? Did he make a football move when he caught it? Now, here's we'll have to go to instant says, replay again, Robin. Here's a guy. Here's an article that says Kiwi Man catches flying phone on roller coasters. So that coasters. was in Australia or that was oh, in was New Zealand? Oh, I, I got it. I got it here. Here, so this is. We have an update. This is an update. This uh, a Timaru New Zealand man named Samuel Kempf was in Europe representing New Zealand in the fist balling World Championships in Switzerland. Fist balling. What the hell is that? Not, I saw that on Pornhub the other night. Fist balling. I have fist, never. Fister, <laughs> that's a hotel in Milwaukee, for God's sake. I have never heard of such a thing. What the hell is fist balling? Anyway, beside the point, after the championships, Kemp took a holiday and headed to Barcelona, where he visited a theme park and got the best holiday footage ever, showing him on a roller coaster catching the phone flying through air at 134 kilo kilometers per hour, which is approximately 80, 80 miles per hour. Uh, the footage. I'm so, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I know. Fist uh, now, I'm, now I'm distracted. What the hell is fist, fist balling? balling? <laughs> is that what the guy did at Burning Man with his girlfriend who's a DJ? Know, did you see that video? Know. Did no. you see the video? It was a famous DJ. And he had his girlfriend. You know, they could do freaky stuff at Burning Man right, out right, in the right. desert. 
And the dude was uh, from behind. Let me just say, I, mean, we can't, I don't think we can play the video. I had doubtful. <laughs> and now the guy admits that he shouldn't have done that. He had his girlfriend up on top of something, and let's just say she was not facing him. And then she was he on did, all fours. Yes, but she was she was uh, she was above on something. She was like on a table or something. Okay, or on laying a car. on her stomach. No, okay. she wasn't laying on her stomach. She was on her knees. All right. And then he came up from behind her and oh. did something, and it was high enough that it wasn't what you would think it is. It was something else. You following me right now? I don't know. I don't know if I want to. But uh, here's here's a a. Was that it? Was quote. is there a fit, best fist ball at the AVN Awards that I missed? Hold on, let me find out what fist balling is before. Because now can't. Not, when I was a kid, we used to play handball, but not the kind you see in the gyms. You know, we play handball. We get a pimple ball. So when you couldn't use, when you didn't have a, a broom handle or stick, this and you is, wanted to, you, what would you, you like do to is. Know what fist would you is? like to explain what we used, what I would call okay. fist ball, if yes. I were going to describe what we did here in, in the streets and in the cities. You get a pimple ball, the same one we would cut in half to play half right, right. ball, where somebody has a broom handle on one side, and then you pitch the half ball up in the air so it lands in there, and then you slap that thing, and it goes against the wall of the house across the street, and if it's above a certain window level, it's a single. Then if you hit it on the roof, then some schmuck's got to go up there and get the balls off the roof later in the day. That's what we called half ball. The other thing we'd have, we would play, we would just call it handball. But you really were using a fist, so you would close your palm, and then somebody would do a one-bounce ball, and then you would swing and hit it with your fist. Is that the same type no. of fist ball we're talking about? Not at all. Apparently, fist balling... It's not like pocket pool, right? Uh, no. <laughs> Let me tell you what fist balling is. Oh, we have a fist ball update, ladies. See what you learn on this show? It, this is something, and, he, and I'm from Europe, and I've never even heard of this thing. I have no clue what fistballing is. Is it like Aussie rules football at all? Not at all. Is apparently. it like a kiwi? It's a kiwi sport, obviously. No, right? it's a European sport that I have never in my life heard of. Fistballing is a sport of European origin. It is similar to volleyball in that players try to hit a ball over a net. I have a photograph up there. Okay, you can see it. Uh, the current men's fistball world champion is Germany. Winners of both the 2015 Men's World Championship and the fistball category at the 2017 World Games. Not foosball. That's different. No, this is fistball. So instead of using a racket and instead of doing it with it's a like big – It's not a big like, – it's not like a big uh, volleyball itself, which is soft and, you know, you can punch it up and you can use both hands. It's kind of like – it looks a little bit like video? a soccer ball. I, I want to see video. I want to see, see how the size video. of the ball. Well, you can see the ball right there. It's 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 a the little. The ball bit looks amazing, as uh, Ryan Seacrest once said. The ball looks a little bit. <laughs> yes. A little bit smaller than a soccer ball, maybe. Um, and there, the net is not so really a net. So it's bigger than a soccer ball. No, it's smaller. It looks like it's smaller than a soccer. Can ball. I see the video? I don't have a video. Right. Oh wait. Why does here. it say Hold play on. semifinal Germany versus Switzerland, and it looks like it has a plates button where you can start it and show the video, Robin? Hold I'm on. no computer expert. But I know what a start button looks like Let on a video. Let me see if I can pull. Oh, here we go. Down there. I see where you're seeing it. <laughs> it's not the size of the ball as much as it's the size of the fist. Says, uh, Faust ball. Faust ball. Jerry so, Faust, the former Notre Dame coach, so uh, started this. Are you watching? Yeah, I don't see it playing, though. Oh, it's on the live. It's on live. I don't see it. Tony, watch, it, watch again. Let me watch it again. Oh, here it is. So it does look like a soccer ball. And it's a bunch of white dudes. And yeah, it's basically it's basically volleyball. Volleyball, the, the but they use one different. hand and they punch it instead of like popping it up. Well, they still pop it up. Yeah. So it's volleyball. It's pretty much volleyball. It's basically volleyball, except these guys are Aborigine nutcases and they just want to punch it harder. So I guess you're only allowed to use one hand after the serve. So let me watch the serve again. So he pops it up with one hand on the serve and he punches it, and then guys have to dig it out just like volleyball. The net looks a little bit lower, too. Doesn't it look like it's No, it lower? looks higher to me. The bottom is higher, but the top, there's not a full net. The top of the, the top of whatever that is. And he close, and, and actually gets to, you're allowed to bounce it on the ground yeah. once. So you don't even have to dig it out like they do in volleyball. Interesting. You know where somebody has to make a diving dig to keep the ball alive in volleyball? I saw the ball bounce once. Yeah, weird. What kind of shit sport is that? <laughs> That's some European white folk shit right there. But 
Anyway. Anybody can punch a ball once it bounces over the net and hits the ground and it pops up again and you grab your fist and you go, bam, and you fist her. Can I? That wasn't even on the Ocho. How how fringe of a sport must it be (laughs) if it was not on ESPN, the Ocho? (laughs) And they had guys making pizza. They had guys spinning pizza on that show. (laughs) Well, this is this is Kemp, who is a fist baller, <laughs> fist baller, <laughs> <laughs> who caught the phone, said that. Uh, is there a fist ball fantasy league? I want to get in on that. <laughs> Do they have cheerleaders? <laughs> not Doug Fister, the former major league pitcher, is not involved, is he? Do they have this indoors at the Fister Hotel in Milwaukee, Wisconsin? They must. They one they of the really, most haunted hotels really in America, as you know, Robin. So I guess even though it looks like he was in the front car, he was not. There was a person a few rows ahead of him, and he saw that they dropped their iPhone X. Long story short, I caught it. The roller coaster was moving. Um, Once they were off the roller coaster, Kemp handed the phone back to its owner, who was looking for the device on the ground. He could not believe it. He gave me a huge hug. The funniest reaction was when we got off the roller coaster, and you go down to look at the photos and videos they take, and half the people there seem to be watching our screen and then everybody started cheering and clapping when it happened. Wow. And wow. he didn't even use his fist. He used an open hand. <laughs> open hand. He just opened, grabbed that sucker. That so is. it was somebody in front of him because yeah. gravity would make the right. it wouldn't make the person behind you True. thing go in front. Now, unless looks, you're in a loop. Right. I thought they were in a loop because it looked like he was in the front of the car. But no, I think it was, was just an inversion. Yeah. And you know I love inversions, Robin. Fist ball. You gotta do that once. Very, very cool. You can do that in the street. That's the best part. Who was the first MVP of fistball? Who was the greatest fistballer of all time? Now I'm fascinated. <laughs> 215 462. We went from showing a guy making an unbelievable one handed grab and of Tony a cell phone. Got completely sidetracked. But you brought up who he was because I said yeah. we have to find out where this was. What was he? See, that's journalism. Who, what, when, where, and why, right? Now, did you and how? Not hear this? Which is, is, a, this is very interesting, Tony. This was a noble pastime for nobles and gentry in 1786. Johann Wolfgang Goethe, who is a philosopher, no, no relation to Wolfgang Puck. No, did he make a nice little sandwich, panini, and have it like a and fast you should food joint? Yeah. Because apparently, this was a huge thing in Italy. Mentioned fistball games between four noblemen from Verona and four Venetians in an Italian journey. Apparently, Italians are very, very good at fistballing, Tony. Mister, that's <laughs> not. <laughs> it. I. I believe that this is something that you need to take up. You need to take up fistballing, Tony Bruno. I believe we have the theme song of the league. Really? Yes, this we is the do? actual theme song of the uh, European Fister League. I want to rock. <laughs> That's Twisted Fister, Robin. Come on. The great Bruno Storage Unit has to take it to the next level. The greatest fist baller of all time, of course, the great Ava Adams or my personal friend, Brianna Banks. (laughs) Tony Bruno (laughs) on Wikipedia. The number one notable player in fistballing. <laughs> you are gonna love this. His name oh. is this Bruno. This, what? It's no. gotta be Bruno. Oh, no, no, Bruno. No. Hold on. Let me make, make sure I'm pronouncing this correctly. Dirk. Dirk Yafisky. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Dirk it's taking Yafisky. me a second. Hold on, hold on. Dirk Shastik. Schacht. <laughs> What? Schachzig. Is he German? How do you you, you Schacht- speak German, Robin? How do you not know how to yeah, pronounce it? Yeah, but this it? is even more complicated than normal. Schachzig. <laughs> I thought it was Schachzack. Schachzack. There it is. Dirk Schachzack. <laughs> Sounds like soft sack. Is there a not- Fister Hall of Fame? Fistballer Hall of Fame? <laughs> this is a beautiful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, see what we've done for you. We have given you a whole new sport that nobody has known about. And I get to play some Twisted Sister, too. And, and it's dominated by West Germany, Brazil, and Austria. <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Swedish chef says, I think the fist ball hall of fame is at Ball State University. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, oh man. Uh, on that note, shall we continue with the show or are we totally derailed? Wow. That was not planned, ladies and gentlemen. I knew about the video. I saw the yeah. video this morning of the guy yeah. grabbing the cell phone. I did not know. This about all started the- out as an Antonio Brown uh-huh. Raiders need a replacement wide receiver. Find a video of a guy who grabs a cell phone from midair at 80 miles an hour on a roller coaster in Bar- Was it in Barcelona again, Robin? Yes. In Barcelona, so it wasn't Six Flags. Nope. We cleared that up. And then we find out he was from New Zealand and part of a fistball team that was visiting <laughs> Barcelona, just, Spain. I mean, just saying it. Just saying it. How would you say, like, hey, what do you do? Uh, I'm a world champion fistballer. I've been working on cornhole the whole time and didn't realize <laughs> fisting was much better. If I had known about fistball, I would have started my own American <laughs> fistball, fistball league. league. <laughs> Screw cornhole. That sounds fun, but it's not. Fistballing sounds so much better. <laughs> what do you do for a living, sir? I'm a professional fistballer, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like to come over and fistball tonight? Well, who do you think the sponsors of fistballing would be, Tony? <laughs> come over and fistball by we, while we sling tonight. <laughs> You know, you have a sling yeah, party. You have yes. a sling box at home. Who who would be the donor, the, the sponsors? <laughs> Fistballing brought to you by KY Jelly. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. Uh. Fistballing brought to you by... Uh, Cujo knows. Uh, <laughs> who is your fantasy fistball tight end? That's what I want. <laughs> fistballing brought to you by Astroglide. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Bob from Valley Force. Does Tall Man Joe's have a fistballing room? <laughs> <laughs> D. Conrad Vegas goes, I'm a baller, dude. <laughs> oh. And then we could get. Uh, See, you see the creative minds? Yeah, I saw this quote this morning, and I think that's what this show's all about, including our great followers on Twitch and listening uh-huh. to us everywhere. Good, you know, Great minds discuss ideas. Yes. Well, let's not start sucking each other's No, not yet. Yeah. We're talking fistball right now. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. So we can just... We just proved that great minds discuss ideas. And that's what happens. Whenever we talk about something and then it just starts going, not really off the rails, but we start thinking it through and discussing things, Mm -hmm. we're coming up with ideas. Yes. Fistballing league, you know, all these other important things. uh, Rebel Man 9311, the fistball finals officially endorsed by not Valvoline, but Vaseline. Vaseline. (laughs) It's like liquid ball bearings (laughs) back in the day. I remember when Uh, Richard Petty used to do the STP commercials. Remember STP, the oil treatment? Like liquid ball barons. The Uh, FBL on the Ocho. I wonder if you would use latex gloves or non-latex gloves. Because you got to have protection if you're fistballing, Robin. Am I I wrong here? God, I wish this guy didn't live in New Zealand. I'd try to get him on the show. You know he has a great accent. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, we got our Australian friends we get on the air all the time. He's a Kiwi. We don't have many Kiwis on. No. But I do like me some kiwi. And then you have, we set up a stadium. You know how they have the Did dark... Did you know that kiwis have more vitamin C than any other Absolutely. fruit? And the, and the uh, fruit's Just... good, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I can see it now. You know, we watch that soccer, not the soccer, the, the dart championships in England and Europe. Uh-huh. Where they have this gigantic hall full of tables and people drinking. Right. And watching guys play darts on a stage with, you know, with gigantic hairdos and... Wacky looking guys with crazy shirts and stuff. I love that stuff. Now, we just did a story yesterday that Germany is the number one uh, a country in the world that that is is free with their nudity and they have nude they have everything. Nude fistballing? I'm wondering now if they have nude fistballing. I would make sense, would it not? Darts are for pussies. Real men fistball. <laughs> We got slogans coming out. We got the league. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, can have I use mercy. Fist, Bert and Gus? Can I use fist balling trivia to stump Jose on Taco Tuesday? <laughs> nope, that would that would be probably a definite no. Swedish Chef, who does the play by play? Fist Berman or Vern Fiskwist? <laughs> God. Oh, and then you can have Fistball Stadium. Forget about the uh, Fister Stadium. Forget about the the uh, the uh, what's it called? What's the league called where they play video games and the guy comes on and says this is the what what do you call it league? And I should know this because of Twitch. Uh, no, it's got to be Brent Fistburger. We can change everybody's name. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go live now to Brent Fistburger at Fistburger Stadium. <laughs> You are looking live. <laughs> <sighs> and of the course, fi- the first expansion team, the Philadelphia Fist Fighters, <laughs> spelled P H I S T P H I G H T E R, an oh, esports God. arena. Esports. No, but they, it's got a name. There's an esports arena yes. they're building down there here yeah, in I South know. Philly, right near the sports complex. It's going to be big. <laughs> no, the guy comes on, he says, Let's uh, get ready for not to rumble. That's boxing. The dude that does the, it's a league. Yeah. <sighs> I'm dying. The first Fistball Hall of Fame in- inductee, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Phil McCracken. You get it, Robin? Phil McCracken? I get it. I get not it. Barry McCockiner. That's a different guy. The Winnipeg Fisting Moose. Just think of the merchandising. I know. Just think of the ideas and all the things you can do when it comes to fistball league action. Okay. This is poorly marketed. This is I, like the this is like the Pac-12. Even if we they don't, brought in a guy from the Tennis Channel to run the Pac-12. Even if we do not uh, actually start a league, we need to have at least league T-shirts. The Bruno Fistballing League. <laughs> Mascots, yes. Who, I who, mean, it's, it's just who wants a Bruno fistballing league? The, the, Let's show the, raise, uh, the show possibilities hands. now. I mean, this league pretty much invents itself. I mean, look at all the ideas already in just ten minutes of deep thinking and great minds coming up with great ideas. It's good stuff, man. I may have to get the website. <laughs> Forget about AFL, oh. which is gone. Oh, now, oh, oh, by the way. <laughs> 